Hello everyone, Randy and Christian here. Thank you for watching another episode of Ambitious. Uh, so today we're going to try something new. Uh, we're going to do some tankless diving using a third lung from the Brownie uh, third lung. And typically these are gas powered and we actually acquired one that is battery powered, lithium ion battery powered. And it should run us for up to three hours for two divers up to about 65 feet. You can run up to three, maybe even four divers off this, but obviously I think you're capped in at maybe around 30, 35 feet. Uh, but today we are attached to a mooring buoy just offside the coast of, I think, Lauderdale by the sea, uh, somewhere in between Pompano Beach and Fort Lauderdale, somewhere in that general area. Uh, but we wanted to bring you guys with us today because we bought this a couple months back and we tried it here and literally the water was just too cold for us. We took it to the Keys about a week or two ago and we stayed in the Keys for a week picked the worst week we could ever pick to go to the Keys because uh, it was six to eight foot seas and we literally couldn't make any videos because you guys really didn't want to just uh, watch around the boat, watch it rain all day. So this will be our first video in a while, but we're also going to take you down below the surface with us and see what all the cool stuff we can see. And then also I bought a new spear gun. So I think I brought the Rob Allen, it's the 900. Um, and we had a 1300, which is just honestly way too big for what we do out here. So got a smaller one. We're gonna try that out today as well. And so uh, hopefully we can get some fish. Unfortunately, lobster season ended uh, two or three days ago and grouper and hogfish season doesn't open up in, for another four weeks or so. So really the only thing I could probably shoot down here is maybe some mackerel, maybe some snapper, uh, but we'll see. Hopefully there's something down there waiting on us, uh, but we're gonna take you along. So uh, let's go get some fish. All right, let's try to go down. We may have to add more line out, but let's just see. Pick it up.
So one of the fun things about owning the boat is all the maintenance. And so we pay a company to clean the bottom of our boat. And one of the things that we noticed today while we were testing out our new little brownie third lung is that they haven't been cleaning the bottom of the boat. So we're gonna stop enjoying ourselves for the day and now switch over to maintenance mode and clean the bottom of the boat. And so we figured we would show you guys how we do it. So generally I use a deck brush like this, uh, pretty hard bristles on it. And then we also use some different types of, uh, yeah, there's some different types of pads at different roughness degree. I think white's like a light texture and then red's a little bit rougher. And then black we don't typically try to use because it'll start to take the bottom paint off. But we figured we'd show you guys how we do this. And uh, now that we have a new third lung, I don't have to hold my breath while we do it. So I probably won't pay anybody else to say they did it when they're not doing it. But anyway, we're gonna take you guys with us. So um, this is the not so fun part of boat ownership. Hi everyone. All right, so we spent a few hours here using our Brownie third lung for the first time. And then obviously once we dived in and uh, got used to that and come back to the boat for a break, we noticed that the boat needed bottom cleaning and apparently whoever we hired to do it just hasn't shown up since January. Yeah. I guess. December. Either way. <laughs> so then we had to shift gears and clean the bottom of the boat, which we showed you guys as well. And then we decided to go back down and uh, dive back down and see what's on the bottom some more. So we'll definitely be doing this a lot more. We're just now getting used to it. Kristen's getting used to staying down. And uh, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to bring you some cool videos in the future with us doing some spear fishing. Like I said, uh, hogfish season hot and grouper both start uh, May 1st. So we got about four weeks-ish uh, till then. So uh, we're just kind of gonna be, I guess, looking for some <laughs> spots and then uh, making note of those. And then when the sign's right, we'll go back down and uh, see what we can find there. But we're now we're going to get out of here, so if anything, we'll show you guys some of the scenery and on the way home, show you guys how we unhook from the mooring bowl, and then we'll go from there. Let's do it. All right, ready? Yep. Woo. So untie this one on this side. Yep. And then just pull it through on the other one. Good? Yep. All right.
Another pour up. 